Hey friends, it's me, Miss Olivia. Welcome back to another story time. Hey, have you ever used your imagination? What's imagination? It's when you pretend. So you pretend that you are a prince or a princess in a long lost kingdom. Or those vegetables that your mom is trying to get you to eat, they're actually <laughs> poison. <laughs> yes, that's imagination. So the story that we're going to read today is actually about a little girl that's using her imagination. Are you guys ready to get into this story? Me too. Let's get started. Today's story is What If? It's written by Samantha Berger and illustrated by Mike Caruto. With a pencil and paper, I write and draw art to create many stories that come from my heart. But what if that pencil one day disappeared? I'd fold up the paper till stories appeared. And what if that paper were no longer there? I'd chisel the table and then carve the chair. And what if there wasn't a chair here at all? I chip and I peel at the paint on the wall. And what if there wasn't a wall anymore? I might build a story from the boards in the floor. Without any floor, I could still use the land and sketch out a tail in the dirt with my hand. I could still shape the leaves. I could still sculpt the snow. I could still plant the flowers and make kingdoms grow. Do you guys see? What does it look like she is? Yes, you're right. It looks like she is a fairy princess. Without any land, I would still use the light. Invent shadow stories the sun would ignite. If there was no light, I would still use my voice to sing out my stories, to chant and rejoice. I'd still have my body to twist and to bend, to dance out my stories from beginning to end. If I had nothing, but still had my mind, guys, I think she is imagining something wonderful. And I want you guys to take a look inside of her imagination. Are you ready? Let's look. Whoa. There'd always be stories to seek and to find. Look inside of her imagination, you guys. What do you see? I see that too, yes. Yes. You guys are right. Wow. That was amazing. Let's keep reading. <clears throat> 
If I know nothing but one bit of fate, as long as I live, I will always create the end. That book was amazing, you guys. What was your favorite part? Okay, I like that part too. I really like this story because she was able to use her imagination no matter what, without a pencil, without crayons, without markers. She used everything that was around her. Do you think you will be able to do the same thing? What can you create with your imagination? Next time we talk, I want you guys to tell me, maybe even draw a picture of it. Okay, friends. Again, my name is Miss Olivia. Remember, behind the cover of every story is a new adventure. I hope you come along with me to explore again. Bye, guys.